people will scorn you to your last, and people will discard you away from them because you're different, because you are chosen of the Lord. Don't allow people, places, or things to dictate your heart. Don't allow your heart to change because of how someone feels about you. If someone feels a certain type of way, it's not you. They are intimidated by the spirit and the heart that you possess. You know, they, 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 they are intimidated by your spirit. They are intimidated by your characteristics. They are intimidated by your personality. Don't allow people, places, or things to dictate how you feel about yourself. Because it comes a time when people will scorn you. People will scorn you to your last. People will get you to your worst ending of your life. People will allow you to feel worthless because how they feel about you. It's not you. It's what they feel about you. It's what the spirit that they hold, that they get paid, can't stand the anointing that's on your life. For you are chosen. For the Bible said that before I met you, Jesus told Philip this, before I met you to tell you to follow me, I already saw you upon the fig tree. Philip, like, wow. He, he was amazed. Jesus said, well, if you are amazed with this, you shall see greater things. So, I got from that is that Jesus foreknew you. You know, Jesus foreknew you when you was in your mother's womb. Jesus foreknew you. You know, before your mom and your dad ever got it, you know, got together, God knew you before you ever thought of. He knew your life. So, earlier when I was saying when, when, um, when, when, when God bore your sins to the cross, He bore everything to the cross. He, He conquered Satan. He, he conquered Satan and He endured freedom into the cross. Yes, freedom. Every time you pray to the Lord, you send in your affirmative, you send in your pain, your frustrations unto the cross. And what? You, whenever you are free, Whenever God is free you, you are free indeed. What indeed means? That means surely you are free indeed. That means everlasting to everlasting forever. That means freedom. Freedom is a healing therapy that God gives us when we knock in that persecution door. When we knock in that persecution door, that's when God's in his peace. But you have to endure as a good soldier to end the race with Jesus Christ. I just want to let y'all know to be blessed, be encouraged. God is with you forever, no matter what you're dealing with in your life. He is with you. I'm dealing with something right now, but I'm not going to allow it to bother me like how I used to be. I used to allow things to bother me. I used to allow things to really bother me, really bother me. So I made up in my mind that I won't allow things to bother me no more. I'm going through something right now, as we speak, right now. But I'm not going to allow it to dictate my mood, my character, how the way I feel, how the way I act. You know, I'm not going to allow it. You know, because some people, how can you be a man of God and you allow your attitude to determine everything that you feel around you, like, how, well, how, you know, how, well, I'm growing, <laughs> I'm growing, I'm growing into the Lord, I make mistakes, tons of them, you know, tons of them, but I'm, I'm not in control of myself, I can't do this alone, God has me, God has me, y'all be blessed.